This is Raphael from SideQuest Studios. Next, I'm going to show you something about all the cool weapons and equipment that you can acquire along your journey, as well as how to make them stronger. Leveling up your party members and acquiring new gear is really what immediately gets you hooked and keeps you playing. Each character can be equipped with a unique set of weapons, body armor and hats. In addition, there are also accessories such as amulets and rings that can be shared among some of the party members. Early in the game, there's little you can do as Baldwin is only equipped with a simple toy sword. However, as the story unfolds and the quests are solved, merchants will steadily offer new and better equipment that further increases your character's attributes and makes them even stronger in combat. The really cool thing about equipping new items is that whenever you change a weapon or armor, the look of your characters also change during exploration and battle. Dozeru, a mighty knight for example, begins his journey with a tiny lance and is protecting his head with nothing else than a bucket. Fast forward several hours into the game and see what this fellow has developed into. There are hundreds of items that you can acquire during your journey, which means lots of possible gear combinations for all your characters. Now, hang on for a second, as I want to tell you more about another amazing feature that is linked to the equipment system, called crafting. Most of the gear that you acquire has empty crafting slots and can be further improved by merging them with any materials from your inventory bag. Low-end equipment usually only has a few crafting slots, while high-end ones will easily have 30 or more slots to experiment with. Crafting is really easy, all you need to do is visit a weaponsmith who offers a service free of charge. Simply select your base equipment that you'd like to improve and then choose any of the material from your inventory that you'd like to merge it into. There's a large variety of materials that you will come across during your journey. While you will mostly find relatively simple materials in the beginning that only improve your weapons by a few hit points or other attributes, more powerful ones can be obtained later on by beating stronger enemies. Apart from raising attributes, there are also materials that will add positive conditions and passive abilities to your gear, such as making you immune against poison attacks or multiplying your luck attribute, increasing your chance for critical hits against enemies. On top of that, we put some hidden stuff into the crafting system, so make sure to experiment with it frequently to find out all the secrets. Make sure to watch out for Rainbow Moon on PlayStation Store this July.